Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Daffo Plays. We are here playing the... Oh, what the hell are we playing? I don't remember. Star Shadows of... Well, I know we're playing Shadows of Brimstone, but what are we playing? We're playing the Swamps of Death mission. Um, if you guys have been watching and following along, we just cleared out the first room and had the hulking lizard men show up and abuse us. Actually, they really didn't do anything. I think <laughs> everybody went in and beat the crap out of them. Yeah, um, like, give them a cup of sugar, like, blam, blam, blam. blam. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. We'll take this as a go. <laughs> <laughs> so, we got that. So, that means we are to the end of the round, I believe. So, yeah. if we're wrong, remind us. But it's been two weeks since we filmed. So, we're just going to play it as start of the new round. Stuff already from that yep. Fight, yep. So hold back the darkness, sir. Um, I believe I have an ancestral shield. Well, we do that. We're just going to skip the... Oh, no, let's get that done right away. Uh, one of the things we forgot is you have, what, a ring, ring of, of zoo? Yeah, I forgot to take my corruption hit, so it's going to be an adventure. As in, it's only one scenario. So. Did I take two corruption hits? And that's a will... It's a willpower save unless it says it ignores. Or unless you have a madness that you start ignoring that. Uh, um, right, right above all your wound area. Corruption limit is what? Uh, should normally be five. Then hold back the darkness. Uh, that's an eight. Should be right. Yes. Sweet. Uh, looks like speed of six would be the saloon girl or the gunslinger. Uh, go ahead. Okay. Four. Speed of four. Well, one, two, three puts you there. I'll go in. <laughs> well, you have to. You would have to take your explore at your your scavenge action to scavenge the uh, map tile. Okay. So, let's so go. all right, here we go. I don't know if these have been shuffled or not, did, so we'll just reshuffle them one more time. Do what we do in your, our other one. Yep. Show shuffle them that we don't cheat. Stacking. Show them the, so that everything bad that happens is happening because I shuffled on camera live. So here we go. We will be looking for a murky clearing, and we'll be right back. All right, and then with a little bit of movie magic, boom, we have ourselves a dungeon. And that contains one of those. You are not considered adjacent to it, so if nobody goes into that room, we do not flip that token. Just so you're aware. I mean, I don't see why we wouldn't, but... Ms. Azzy, I believe you are up then. Uh, yeah, I am. <clears throat> Gunslinger appeared, he opened, he sees... A swampy area. But there's stuff here, so, guys. What do you got? Like six? Six. You going in? One, two, sure three. Sure or not. I like doom. Uh, I gotta get this out of the way for a second. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six puts you right there. Sound good? Sounds good. All right. Can I explore? Nope. Because oh. there is a token in that space. No. You do add a. You do add yep. one of those, please. Kind of weird. Not the mine or anything, so there should be a separate tracker. Like the darkness is coming out of the mine, but we're going down a different path. So maybe the darkness is coming out of the jungle, and we're in the mines, and it's actually finding its way out because there was a portal. Mm. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, another portal in the swamp that takes us somewhere else. But it'll all for this it, mission, all portals will take you only to the swamp. Yeah, okay. it's always to the swamp. Yeah, okay. I think I remember that. So if we find more portals, we just get to go. Uh, you're the one that cracked open the door, so rem remember, please get your five XP bonus. Okay. Um, and then we are at speed of five, which would be, I believe, you two, but he's punished by two, so it's you. Speed of five. Heading in? Yeah. Uh, one, two. All right. so I love this model, but it's really hard to count. One, two, three, four, five? That works. Bam. I can still shoot through the portal, can't I? Yes. Okay. It's just, you're not considered adjacent to... So, like, every time we always open a room, when we, when, like, if you assume right, right here, you open the room and you see the exploration token, at the end of the round, there's somebody in the room to open the exploration token. You weren't considered to be in the room to open the exploration token. Um, I'm actually ahead of uh, Steve, so. Speed of five. One, two, three, four, five. I 
will not do that so that I don't block the door for Steve. Um, then to you, sir. Actually, you know what? I'm in that room. I'm, I'm, I'm going to blow us up. No, I'm not. See? You guys are worried about nothing. Just waiting for the gate to come sealed. I just need to be up next. I told you right next to you. One. So one in there. So you can go one, two, three, four would be there. Okay. But otherwise, uh, one. I just keep, I want to keep Dave's face away. So in case something Sorry. spawns, I want to be able to like, go fast in there. And there you go. You so we'll go like that. The, you can shoot through the doorway. Yep. Yeah, so I just want to make sure. Cause I have and of course, as always, when if, when we're doing that wrong, uh, okay. please let us know. I think, I think that's good. But if you want, you might scavenge. You do. You ignore the first six anyway. Any box cars on three dice? Then uh, we flip the token. We have two doors, so I need two d6 rolled, please. Two and a five. So wherever there is a. You didn't get the same number. Uh, this door here is not there. So we can go left and right, and we get two. And what if I got the same number? We just re-roll. Oh. Re I know these aren't portals, but it's just cooler if they're like, you know, like you know, we find alien a, thing. Well, we alien find doors. Go to the mine Do you have? Oh, you're not on the map, so you don't get to affect the encounters, right? Do you normally affect the encounters? Uh, encounters if I'm on the map. Okay, so you're not on the map, so you don't get okay. you don't get to choose these. Correct. All right. Uh, we'll just do these right in order. A massive webbed spider hole funnels into the undergrowth here, and shriveled bodies of webbed, half-eaten animals litter the area. As you watch, something begins to emerge. Please draw a random between one of the two ladies, because they're the only one on the map tile. Pretty screwed if it's me. The doctor. Make an agility six plus test, please. <gasps> oh, I, I got it. it. A massive bog spider lashes out from its spider hole. If successful, gain 50 XP as you dodge just in time and strike a blow at the beast. Then, if the test was passed, the bog spider retreats into its hole. If not, another random hero must take the test and continue until a hero passes. So, you were one of between the Is two of you, you guys were able to beat it off and get it out of the way. So if it's just it's yep. just the two of them, we keep going back and forth until they... Pretty much. <laughs> the entire area is filled with stone-carved totems, hideous faces of monsters and serpents. Uh, one of you draw make a lore 5 plus test. Um, I got a 3. Lore is 2. You want me to just do it? Yeah, you're still better. Better chance. Yeah. What is it, five plus? Five plus. Look at that. I got a six. If successful, you recognize this as a burial ground and search for any offerings. Each hero may draw a loot card. Dead people were here. Do you want to desecrate their graves? Why not? Not my graves. Not my family. <laughs> It's not like she's not from America in the 1800s where they've already murdered a ton of Indians and are, uh, you know, suffering from that as well. So one for what you. What I'd like to know is why are you, you with us when, like... Hey, not my not my family. I need another gear card. You need another gear card. Man. Because I'm in another world. You need another tonic. I can't take that. Why? My bag oh, is full. Oh, your bag is full. It just falls to the floor. Um, is there anything that you can use? Can you use the tonic for a grit right away? I could. Yeah. Then drink it right away. Okay. That works. I think I was seeing people online saying that, like, if you get a fifth, you know, a sixth item bag, you can always, uh, you know, use an item right away as a response. What did you get? Trash. Well, you can, if you can roll to add to movement, if you roll one. What did you get? Right. How many dark stones did you get? One. one. How many dark stones do you have? Enough in the uh, uh, item department, I know that. Yeah. What dark stones do you have? A, little, blah, blah. a lot. That's how many. All right, that's lot. that's that. It was not a very exciting encounter. Start at the top of the order. It's you two. Oh, actually, no. Hold back that darkness first. Nine. 
That's a nine. Ninety nine. Two thousand to oh, hit. I'll go into the room. Yeah. Fourth. Yes. Okay. Move B six. All so right. I just want to make sure. Otherwise, we have to. So there was, we have there's to no attack. So there's no monsters. Yep. Pop up right there. Which way do you want to go towards? Oh, uh, this way. Uh, shit, I forgot. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. I don't want to open it though. You won't open it? No, wait for you guys to get in here. <sighs> Me and Steve are fine. We're just going to party over here where it's safe. You kids just have fun. Yeah, right? You kids, Nothing. Just, have fun. You kids <laughs> just have fun. Let us know. Is it, I'm guessing before That's you. the target plateau. Uh, well, no, she's up yet. Oh, she's still up. Yeah. But you would be before me. And I you two are the same. No. They got loose. I thought she was going to go. No. You can roll to go. Six. Six. Well, you got the gunslinger looking down one door. I'm gonna go to the other one, because why not? You gonna open it? Why not? Alright, okay, here we go. go. We're going to find the Boneyard Lake. And we'll be right back. Alright, we found the Boneyard Lake and the Boneyard or Encounter for the Exploration Token. Alright, the princess is sitting on that. And, uh... Then we're to speed five, which is you and you. What? Like I'll let you go first. This one. Three. Uh, one, two, three. <laughs> You're gonna scavenge the room. Your first six is ignored, anyways. Okay. Let's see you. Three. One, two, three. Well, the are off by themselves. Uh, you are not in that room. I don't know if it's affected by the an exploration token being there or it's on the map tile. I so I think you can explore tile. this room if you want. Like yeah. Nope. Nobody. Uh, then it's just to it's me. And of course, anything. I upkeep my shield. I'm not stating it, but I upkeep it because why wouldn't I? Hey, a grit! I'm going to spend it right away. Don't bother. Mm -hmm. So I get a speed of five. One, two, three, four, five. This Actually, can I get wider out? Actually, there's an effect that's in play over in this room. Uh, need to know. Does it affect me moving? I don't know. It affects something. Any attack, any attack is an ambush on a d6 roll of one, two, or three. Heroes are plus two on all, to all catch your breaths. Nice. Hey, look, that is probably something that's slightly different. Yep. I'm just wondering if I can get a, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. It'll put me in a space back, but it'll kind of give me a better LOS that way. I mean, everything is going to spawn by the gate anyway, so... All right, we do have one person in that room, so flip that token. An encounter. We're getting an encounter, and we still have a door, so we are going to get. Yep. All right, so let's get this and this. Did you make sure to move your door up? <clears throat> okay. Well, it remains in place, so. Let's put that one down first. Yep. The area stretches out into a murky lake filled with the massive bones of long dead creatures. As you pass through, you keep an eye open for anything of value devoured long ago by one of these beasts. When successfully scavenging here, as you might want to pay attention to this one since you like to scavenge, I do. a hero may draw one extra scavenge card, then choose one to discard. This map tile may be scavenged up to five times. While there are any heroes on this map tile, the hold back to darkness roll is at minus one to the roll. So you need an eight to hit that to uh, succeed, while there are heroes on that map tile, because the the spirit of the long dead monsters are upsetting us. However, pay attention because you have this one as well. A tribal looking altar rests here, cut in, cut into the half buried stonework of an ancient ruin. The fires still burn, and a foul smelling offering has been left to left as a sacrifice to who knows what. It might not be a good idea to stick around and see. Choose. Young lady, choose. Ransack the altar for valuables, making a spirit by plus roll. Or ignore it and move on. 
for dice. Yeah. <laughs> I am a very spiritual person with five. So. Well, you better get a five plus, or have grit to fix it, because I don't like the results. There's a, there's a five. Good. That's all I need. You just needed one, because it's not based on multiples. Uh, you gained 25 experience. And here is what's on top of the altar. Nothing. Nothing. Twenty more experience and a dark stone. <laughs> well, even having the double, yeah. uh, there's still two gear cards in there. So it's like I would have gotten uh, the failure for you I not succeeding. It. That is, we would draw D three growing dread and add it to the stack. So that remains in play. And that comes out of here because we're done with that one. It's like Holy my the darkness. loot Pretty much. was the ability to gain an artifact, but we are in another world. Yeah. So doubles anyway. Uh, doubles anyway. Good thing I found the uh, other world which event. Not, which is not a failure. Uh, creeping darkness. The darkness is always searching for a way out. Move the darkness forward two steps. Kind of and gain a darkness card. Uh, with the blood splash removed. Yep. Uh, you get two, right? Oh, don't get me wrong. In my Forbidden Fortress events, had I have somebody like you who could affect multiple cards, the dar the darkness cards wouldn't be screwing us as hard. The problem being is there's a lot of those cards where it's like, all myth enemies gain one, two, or three health based on where we are. All myth enemies are plus two health because they're large. Plus two health. That sounds plus so heavy. Mm-hmm. Both okay. options are horrible. So which one sucks uh, less? This one sucks less. It's, it's one I just added because we're going to start using, we're going to try to use allies, which is one of the ally related ones. Okay. But if we don't have any allies, we just add D3 cards to the growing dread stack. Oh, so, yay. Otherwise, there's a chance we lose our enemies. And that's all the Shifty eyes. Select one random ally, basic or advanced, and roll a D6 on a roll of one or two. Who He betrays you and runs off. Add a growing dread to the stack. If no allies, D3. Go ahead. We add two. We'll add D three going dread to the stack. What was the other choice? The other one was we got each everybody has to roll a D six for every item in their side bag and on every whatever it is four. On a one or two, the stut it's stolen by mischievous spirits and is discarded. I, I wouldn't that. have minded, but our doctor who has like a huge that's side was, bag. That's what I was thinking. Well, here you go. Well, these don't count as a side bag, so I still one, have bandages. Um, that's that. That was your hold back to darkness. Uh, oh, no, you... we didn't take a... I take oh, shit. Yeah, take... That's right. Everybody gets to take punishment. Take one hearted. I take D6. Take... Just take one. Five. I'm taking two. I just Yay! Let me get you one of them blue damages. I, I know how much you lack, damn. That's it. Yeah, I know. Pass. You gotta learn to save those things. Um, yeah. did you gain your 5 XP for kicking open the door? I did not. Are you bleeding of, of any forms? No. Okay. Trying, to, rem those off trying to remember one. who's all doing what. It's been a while, and for some of us at the table, we're playing a completely different game, which has different set of rules to remember. I mean, what? the same set of rules, but different abilities to remember. What, you mean like your character who heals at the beginning of your turn? I love her for that, and all of the abilities she has. I just wish she would stop dying. Like, permanently. I have died one, two, think, I think three times I've been knocked out, maybe four. I've died three times. I've only been knocked out once. Twice I had to actually be resurrected. Twice. Been knocked out. Uh, I'll move forward. You'll move forward. Six. So through the door? That way. No. What the hell? Three, four, five. I'd rather not have, like, two doors open. Well, you're going to go before me, so actually, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can put you right there. Plus, you look like you need to be healing or healed, so. No, I'm, I can, I have this over here, which I'll still heal sanity and all that. Okay. Uh, Azzy, I believe you still need to go yet. Roll speed. Yeah, I do. Does that try to make a weather effect? Is what? Is that a Jargano special effect, a weather effect? Oh, uh, no, it's the map. There is, I know the target plateau is considered a weather effect, mm -hmm. and there's actually, in the FAQ, it actually matters 
I'm sorry, what was your speed? Eight. Eight? Oh, damn. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not quite to the next door. Scavenge. Next tile. Next tile. Uh, I have to go to the next tile. Because you're, co you're considered adjacent here. Okay. Uh, you need to get into this room this turn. Yeah. I mean, you will. You'll roll a one, which walks you yeah, into here. Okay, so but, as long as you... Uh... Um, she's getting to that point where you're starting to scare her more than normal with your void lantern. Lantern. Yeah, bitch! Oh, God. <laughs> Bye! I never rolled two sixes, so... Bye! Wait, aren't we able to roll more? You can scavenge five times. We can oh. scavenge more. I thought but because you get, we have a higher party, we two can... Two cards. Two. Yes, normally we get three. This card overwrites that period and makes it five. So even if it was just like me and... Right, me and uh, she's going to get okay. four cards and pick the two she wants. No, she's going to get two cards, and then she'll pick a third card from that from oh. this part of the event. Yeah, so she gets... Every success. Yeah. No. Uh, whenever, when successfully, a hero may draw one extra card. It's the same as your ability. So one, two, three, and you pick two of those three to resolve. Pick the bad yeah, I had the one to the head's growing dread. We don't have enough there. We only have three. We need to have six. We need to have at least four. So that hey, look, we I'm gonna throw that one away. The you can share that one with class. Well, oh, come on, it's just two horror hits. That's not bad. Nothing here, and a small vine. So, so 20 XP and 50 bucks. That's not bad. And I need a token on that map tile. One of five. Oh, you're the die there? Or? Working. Well, how many we could do with the number? Oh, okay. That works, too. It's more of just in case that guy ends up coming off. Um, with that, that is the two speeds of five, at six. There are two fives. Uh, why don't we get him going? He needs yeah. to get in here. Otherwise, we all go crazy. Oh. I'm going to move away from you anyway. Are you? Okay. Yeah. So, I haven't gone yet. Okay. So, and there is room in this room to scavenge if you'd like. One six. The one six, which gets ignored because of your weird concussion thing. Uh, it's a ghost bitch. Sick in the middle of Ju July. There you go. You gonna scavenge? Yeah. Of course you are. That's fine. Cowboys and Cthulhu's. Not with swamps. Actually, I went with Old West board game meets HP Lovecraft. Now with new added flavors. <laughs> I get two cards. <laughs> and orphan. Well, we're going to take that there's nothing here. I don't know what that other card said. I totally don't know what that other card said. It says 10 XP and nothing here. That's what it says. Please put a token in there. Uh, <laughs> or over there. Or over there, you know, whatever. Um, oh actually, it was uh, draw a darkness card. Yeah, no. Never mind. There's nothing there. There ain't nothing there. There was nothing there. All right. Uh, that is everybody. We have no new encounters, so we're going to quick clean this up a little bit just so that our map can stay a little more manageable and easily seen by you folks at home. So for some people that may be home. There are a lot of people who telecommute that that's the only time they actually feel like they're at home. It sucks. Uh, these tokens will stay over here, I guess. And that's that. Hold back the darkness. Uh, seven. Eight minus one. Seven. Got it. Still made it. We got it. Um, that's that. Uh, speeds of six. Why don't you go? Four. There's still three more uh, scavengeable spots. No. Nope. As he. 
Jew are up. Should I, should I just scavenge the rooms so he has a chance? Because I feel like I, I have this real advantage. Well, when you roll a around. six with a plus two speed and he rolls a one to counter so that. Roll, one roll your speed because yeah. you might get grit. Roll your speed on the table that's not cocked die. Two. That's, so close. The let's problem just, is, is you just... rolled a two and that's still a four. He rolls a two and it stays a two. Uh, oh, well. speed demon or lesser speed demons is the two of you. Go ahead. Yeah, like a last turn. Three. Ooh. Yeah, there's scavengeable spots. Do you want to try? I mean, you had to roll two d or three sixes or two sixes again, or a six on two dice. You know. Go where you want to go. Uh. Yep. You can go stand right next to her if you want. Yeah. There you go. You gonna scavenge? I can try. I got it. Two cards. One. Two. I don't like that one. Two. Nothing here. Nothing here? Nothing That's what here. I thought I heard. Nothing here. Totally not a uh, 10 XP. Totally not a growing dread as you... Uh, Add that to the stack. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. I do have a token here, so I'll just add that. On a big ass map like that, really should probably be putting those tokens almost like right underneath you guys. It's like I scavenged in this spot. Of course, you have to move another spot. Yep, there's nothing in this <laughs> spot either. <laughs> Not that as he sits in one spot for five turns. Nothing here. Scavenged. Nothing here. Still no nothing shit, here. there was nothing here last turn. Move! <laughs> no, I need to dig more. Just Maybe gotta if dig I further. Dig deeper. One, two, four. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Tossing with. <laughs> Tossing little digging shovels yes, for gardening. What? That, that, is, that is somebody because who has a what, small that's what child. That's would do. Probably, yeah. That is somebody who has a small child or lives with an adult who is essentially a small child. They, they <laughs> dig with small little shovely spoony things. Yeah, no, actually, that, I actually that is brought what her character spoons? would do. I brought my own No, for the I scavenged for more darkness! Woohoo! No. no! Oh, so close, 554. Five, That's what mine was. Well, mine was 552, five, but still. There's gotta be something there. Look, I there's like a. Of two there's like on bone and stuff there. There's gotta be something. Yeah. No, she took the only good thing here. The okay. piece of dark stone. Eight minus one. Apparently. The only good thing that was here was the piece of dark stone that was on the altar. Ooh. Move me one. Oh, oh. I gain a grit. I got, I'm at next to it. Then move your five. Yeah. Hey, look. That at least means the end of the round. Three of them. One, two, three. And this is where our doom comes. I'll take growing dread and growing dread for 500, Alex. <laughs> I'll take two small five. <laughs> no, he has that's three small five. <laughs> three small five. <laughs> nice. Oh. So what did you actually score? Uh, 100 bucks and 20 XP. Two, nice. Two small fines out of the three. Uh, speeds of five. Oh, wait, no, she's still got to go yet. Yeah. You're going to open the door? He's almost in this room. He'll be in this room next turn. Or this turn. Because even a roll... confident in your dice roll? Yes, because even a roll of one puts him in the yeah. divider line. All right. Woo! A grit! You three. get a grit. I'll be fine with not using it to just move, because it's still three. And, and you only have to move one. Exactly. So, we'll move her forward one. We'll go and find the cross passage, and we'll be right back. All right, we now have our more than exciting cross passage added. Whatever, these ones aren't going to kill us. True. <laughs> Unlike um, you, where you're just going to sit there and get eaten. I, maybe I was liking getting chewed in the belly of the beast. It was kind of fun, all right? Well, when your scales weren't working, yeah. you were kind of dying. Yeah, I know. I look at the beast as like a separate other world, so I can pick up things from the island. Nope. Because it's the it's the alternate styles to the fortress. Oh, so, the fortress. I never yeah. 
because this side, one side has the swamps, the other side has the dun, has the mines. Mine has the fortress, the other side has the belly of the beast. I don't know, you so, can still pick it up, and that's two more area, two more other worlds. Yeah, because well, I do have another world card for it, for the Forbidden Fortress, so you'd be traveling back in time. I mean, they've already added the derelict ship, which is a spaceship, so... Um, if she went, did you go already? Yeah. All right. Ready. Yeah, remember I got the small, the two small finds. Three small finds. That was only two. Small. It was only two. Well, then it's speed five when we get uh, the lantern bearer forward. Come on, slowpoke. Told you. Even when he rolls a one and gets a grit. <laughs> Next time I play, if I'm oh, yeah. sick of this guy, I'll be the... You'll be a bandido, be slowpoke Rodriguez. And I'll be uh, oh, so non-politically correct with my accent. <laughs> oh, Speedy knows my sister. Speedy knows everybody's sister. <laughs> uh, you then. Oh, you could, uh, he could have scavenged through if you He wanted. could. There is still scavengeable in this room if you'd like. Or this room. I'll do the one that's back. Actually, no, I'll do the one that's forward because it's still better stuff. Yep. No, you won't. <laughs> no. I got a four on my die. Actually, I haven't rolled. I rolled one six so far. <laughs> one, <laughs> two. Oh, Lord. That's getting hard to see. I know, right? <laughs> Stupid glare. Um, no, it's the dark. It's it, We're in, like, the darkness of the swamp. Stupid old age. One, two. Where do you want to go? You want to go that way, that way, or that way? So one. Well, it doesn't matter. You're gonna get there. That's as far as you can get. You can scavenge that room. You can be scavenged three times. It's dark and and dangerous in here. Yes. Uh, yes, it is. Dread. Okay. No. Oh. Something shiny. Roll a d6. Woo! Three. A dark stone. Yay. It could have been a gear, an artifact, but it's 10 XP as well. Do we get our turn on off that? Yes. I would have gotten an artifact off of the other one if we weren't in another world. Because you only get a gear if you're in the other world with that one. All right. To them, that's an artifact. <laughs> because they're not used to that stuff. Speed of six. One, two, three. Wait, how far can I cast that? I'm, I'm casting that on you. Oh, it's until... The I don't understand how this works. Select a hero on the same or adjacent map tile, including yourself, until the end of the turn. That hero gains plus one initiative, plus three move, and adds plus one to all escape tests. Yeah, so you got to be up far. Probably. All right, screw it. Six. One. Unless we count to the to go to the end of my next turn, which would affect me next turn. Yeah. Sure, we could but just play it as that. I guess so. Yeah, unless I'm supposed to be casting this at like the start of the round. Because otherwise I never... I I am the slowest character, I think, almost in the entire box. I'm initiative three. So, guaranteed, compared to everybody here, I'm the slowest. But I think I'm almost one of the slowest in the entire box. How about we so, bring my character from the other game over? And then everyone's faster than me. That's because I'm you're at wearing initiative fat, one. heavy... She's wearing heavy armor with armor-plated... Uh, I have pants dreams. now. I have so, pants. So, one, two... It makes my armor save better, but it puts me at a minus one initiative. So my character's at a one. Five, I guess I go there. So, uh, that's... Okay, we're good. He's on the new map tile. Um, there we go. Uh, and that's where we're going to end today's episode. Can you scavenge quick or not? Oh, I can scavenge, totally. I can totally find something in the darkness! You are only affected if you're on the map tile, right? Or is it you have to draw the cards? Anytime you draw one or more. Well then, all demon enemies are now plus one combat. I wish we fight some demons. Why are you, like, strong against them? Yeah, that's what my, I'm a demon hunter, so I get plus two damage and plus ten experience against them. So. Nice. I'm just to the point I wish we'd fight something. No, hold back. Is, just, is that plus ten no, experience? Wait a minute, yet. But, what... So it's like, is that, so like some monsters, like you can do damage for each hit you do gets. gets you get plus rate. ten for your hit, each for hit, you, and if you summon you, you just kill it. You get so it's yeah. for both. You would get it for both. I see. 
Yeah, so if you hit, like, say, uh, the big, uh, what is it? The big dude with the tentacles is the picture that they're showing. The guy with the tentacles. The boss from, I think, the Target Plateau, actually. Um, no, the no. it's the boss that... It's like Cthulhu Light. Yeah. Um, if you were fighting him, he's like 10 plus 5 per wound times the number of heroes or whatever, or how many wounds 20. he has. Um, you would get 10 plus the number of wounds you did, plus 10 for being a demon hunter. And then if you had, like, say, just an undead, which was also a demon, you would also get the 35 for the undead, plus 10 for the being a demon undead. Um, but yeah, after now that I'm done scavenging, we're to the end of the round, which will be the start of a new round, which we'll see on our next episode. Thanks for coming and checking this out, guys. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. We do release content like this pretty much every day of the week. Give a thumbs up, and I'm sure you guys are already in the comments yelling at us for things we did. But we'll see you in the comments. Later.